Good evening and welcome to Jim Mumley's World of Weather. You clicked on to Long Range Weather Forecast Discussion for July 18th to the 30th. We're going to look at the period for 18th, for July 18th to the 22nd and the models depict a trough below normal heights along the west coast, a ridge over the southern Rockies, and another trough in the Mississippi and Ohio valleys. Wet and, and wet conditions along with the low normal temperatures are forecast from the lower Mississippi lower Mississippi Valley northeastward towards the Appalachians and the East Coast and in the vicinity of the northwest trough also. Elsewhere near normal temperatures are expected except the southwest where a warming trend is expected by early next week. Now we're going to look at the period for July 21st to the 25th and most of the models are showing here a trough here in the east and a ridge in the west. And one thing I want to look at is the um, Canadian ensembles or the um, European ensembles. The European here's a here's a here's a case I want to look at. Look at the European. It has a deep trough here, and now look at its ensembles. Pretty much of a flat flow with near to above normal heights across much of the region, or much of the nation. And uh, one thing I want to note is uh, the GFS shows a breakdown of the pattern later in the period. See, this is later in the period. Here we have our, our uh, ridge here. This is the 23rd. Let's see, we'll go back to the 21st. See, we have our, our um, trough. Now watch what happens as we go forward in time. Now we're going to the 23rd. Then we go to later in the 23rd. And you can see, still have our ridge here, maybe a little bit further to the north. Still kind of like a weak trough, but um, very weak with above normal heights further to the north. So that's what this um, period is showing. So during this forecast period, I am forecasting above normal temperatures for the Rockies, below normal temperatures for this region, and for precipitation, forecasting below normal precipitation here, and above normal precipitation for the East Coast states and adjacent states. Now for the period for July 26th to the 30th, one, th one thing I want to note that um, here we are in the 26th with the GFS. The models are forecasting um, deamplification of the flow. This is the GFS. Then we look at the European ensembles still. Oops. Uh, very weak trough again. We have our ridge down here, but generally a, a, almost a zone of flow. And then we look at the Canadian ensembles near to above normal heights across much of the nation. Take a look again at the GFS. The European ensembles and the Canadian ensembles are all showing deamplification of the pattern. Uh, the one thing that I said that most of the models have is is a ridge here, and um, the other models. Let's see, which one was I looking at before this one? This is the um, European ensembles has a trough over um, Canada and Western, Western Canada and Alaska. So during this forecast period, I am forecasting above normal temperatures for this area and for precipitation below normal precipitation for this area too. So that is the long range weather forecast discussion for July 18th to the 30th.
Thanks for coming, Jim Munley's World of Weather, and have a good day.